Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we will go straight over to those charts. Um, <coughs> so yeah, um, Bitcoin, obviously Bitcoin, Bitcoin first, <laughs> since this is the Bitcoin morning update. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, we, well, we broke out this trend line. I kind of considered this our initial back test, but it looks like we, um, well, have like had a, a a a more a more formal a more full and formal back test um, yesterday or not yesterday for our chart so not too long ago um, and yeah we're rallying off it again so that is obviously good to see because I'm I'm telling you guys the last thing we want is to fall back below this trend line and make a B line for 10k because I think we will have problems if that happens um, but yeah but all in all um, at the moment it's not looking too bad this could potentially be a higher low. Um, forming um, in respect to um, well the low here um, and yeah I mean if anything you may even look at this as it's uh, potentially going to form an ascending triangle but it's quite obviously quite aggressive there's not much room in that triangle to um, play out any more down moves um, so yeah I mean is this it is this push up to the, the 10,500 area um, is this push well not that we're at it now we're only at 10,300 but I mean if we get another push up to this 10,000 area could be could that be it could we break that area could we get up there um, what I would um, probably initially be looking for um, is um, yeah again some sort of um, some sort of more sustained price action around this 10,500 10,600 area um, but then um, a bit of a, a bit of a retrace down to well around the 10,400 area um, form support around the 10,400 and then push back up and that could end up forming a sort of um, ascending triangle um, with obviously this being the this being the top of it um, so we will have this line on here um and yeah i mean that's kind of what um that's kind of the best case that's what we're hoping for basically this is what i'm hoping for obviously um to the downside um if we do rally off this area we will have this trend line um to watch out for we will have this trend line but obviously as we move on in time this trend line is going to just going to be is what well, it's going to be like around 10,000 isn't it so um it will become less significant um because it's the significance of just the 10,000 horizontal level will, will clearly be be higher. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we've got to look out to the downside here. Um, we are coming into very interesting times. There are a lot of factors, external factors that can start to drive this market now. Um, there are a lot of external factors. Um, at the moment, um, for this month with stock markets, we've obviously got the triple witching um options expiry and futures and all those contracts expiry this month and the third friday of this month so we will as, as we get close to those expiries there will be you'll have to expect higher volatility in stocks um as the market makers are hedging those positions so and as we know bitcoin does like to follow stocks um but what i will i will caveat that with um that doesn't mean there has to be much of a reaction on the dx dxy um of the on the actual dollar um just because stocks are going to be a bit all over the place because like i said stocks are going to be all over the place due to technical factors um and it's not a case basically the dollar will be will tell stocks what to do <laughs> not stocks telling the dollar what to do so as long as the dollar we just got to keep an eye on the dollar really that's all i'm trying to say um so if stocks do end up having like a massive dump or a massive pump um i wouldn't necessarily um expect um the dollar index to react accordingly and then therefore bitcoin to react accordingly um, obviously it will help um on the margins but um but yeah not so much as it has been because it will be a case of um we're not going to have the tail wagging the dog um as it were um so so yeah i mean we are obviously um looking better than we have been um it's nice to see us at the moment just rally off this level here um again this trend line down because like i said we don't want to be losing that we don't want to be losing that and we want to be taking over um, this 10,400 level and and basically being being able to sustain price action above here um things will start to look particularly good particularly good um for taking out 10.6 and as you know 10.6 is my main level is my main uh, main line in the sand um i know some people in the comments um <laughs> have been saying that oh well telling six is broken now now you're making up new bullish things but i've explained again and again that this came down hard 10 six was going to struggle um in fact whilst we're here really quickly we're going to go over to um this uh 
the trading um, the trading with Dan indicator. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is on the four hour. Um, this is obvious. This is as you can see the short and the long signals. Told you to get short um, here. Told you to sell some there. I mean, it's not. This is not necessarily for an all in long and short. This is I use this um, if you're building a position. So you'll add to position, trim some, trim some, trim some, add, trim, add, add, trim. Um, add 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 um, that's how I'd use this and as you can see it's got some nice shorts here um, short on this candle basically there um, short on that candle basically there and it's got some um, nice well positions to then re-add to that position obviously we've come lower um, but yeah this is and yeah so it has been working out quite well it's working out quite well in this range as well so if you want to get that it is free you've just got to come here to the website tradingwithdan.com um, you can join the mailing list um, and then you can also request access for the indicator here It'll take you through to this page and you just need to put um, Just put your details in here and obviously your trading view ID. It's not automatic at the moment I will get I will obviously receive the email and I will then manually add you so right so that is done that is done um, So over to that dollar index on the daily first so you can see um, what is happening with this trend line this is an important trend line and you can see what happened last time we were at this trend line we did get guided down by this trend line um, and if that happens again here then we are we are quids in we are winning guys <laughs> so yeah I mean like as you can see we sort of had the horizontal we've got the same horizontal coming not the same but a horizontal coming in um, we got guided down below it guided down by this trend line and then once we broke the horizontal we then actually accelerated to the downside so um in an ideal world and and this is not just pure speculation beyond the realms of possibility um i believe this is a strong possibility we'll get the similar price action we'll get guided down by this trap by this trend line um we will get pushed down below um this horizontal and then we will then make a beeline for those 88s and um and that will be fantastic for everybody um so that's what kind of what i'm looking at obviously we obviously breaking this trend line is important um breaking the trend line breaking basically i mean for the sake of rounding up 94s once you get above 94s things start to look difficult things start to look difficult um for us and we are we will potentially be eyeing an actual reversal um but yeah like i said i don't think that's possible but that's just the trigger point if we do that if we break this line we break 94s then um yeah i mean then all bets are off markets are done <laughs> basically i mean that might sound um a bit hyperbolic um but yeah that is that is but that is basically the case of the matter right so let's talk about some of the other fundamental um factors basically as you guys may be aware may or may not be aware we have a big election in the u.s um Apparently it's quite tight. I don't know how tight it is or isn't. I suspect there's lots of secret um, voters that basically don't want to voice what they're going to do, but are going to come out and vote in in favour of a particular person. Um, but it may not be as close as it looks. But it is on paper, um, betting wise, statistics wise, polls wise, it is relatively close. Um, and one of the main things on the main things that's going to get people voting for the incumbent um is um if the stock market is still doing well so um on the basis it's tight um if basically the stock market goes down that literally could be what swings it in favor of biden if stock market stays strong or go up that could literally be what swings it in favor of trump so there's a lot resting on this and obviously trump is the guy in power he is the guy that can do um more things um as you and you can see the democrats are doing their best to try and block block stimulus try and block things to try and basically destroy the economies in their um in dem in democrat run states um they're doing their best to basically collapse the economy because they just know that gives them the better chance to get in which um i this is why i think there will be a lot of secret trump voters that will come out because they can see straight through what the democrats are doing um and yeah so all my point is it's not a political channel we are just analyzing the political landscape here um but what that means is that they are gonna try and keep these stock markets higher um and obviously um the the trump has trump has more has more um obviously uh more power to do that the federal reserve obviously they are they are relatively apolitical they do not want to see, to see the economy collapsing though they do not want to see all, all a lot of trouble in the economy they want to see stock markets up because they know that underpins the financial system so even if the federal reserve are political um at the end of the day they know what's good for them what's good is for good for the goose is good for the gander so it is all is good for trump but it is also good for them and let's face it um trump is just a president if he doesn't get re-elected so what 
he's not he's just going to carry on being a billionaire or millionaire or whatever he is billionaire um but if basically the system collapses the federal reserve's done and they're done and they're gone um so um so they have more to stake more at stake and they are probably going to try and keep the system um system going which does bring me to talk about um stock markets because we are looking like we are potentially at the moment at a difficult time here um this could be a top in this could be a top in formation it looks especially so in the nasdaq um so in much the same way we'll have a look at the nasdaq so i'm show you see as you can see we are struggling here in the nasdaq too um, and we are very close to these elections and we know this whole market is over leveraged we know there's just all sorts of shenanigans going on all sorts of all sorts of stuff all sorts of rubbish all sorts of toxic derivative garbage in these markets um that can absolutely start a chain reaction if stocks start coming down um and we can basically um have an absolute disaster situation so um so what that what that means is that if i'm sat there at the federal reserve or i'm trump and i'm thinking well the elections are soon as well i don't i don't i whilst the federal reserve isn't political i'm not too sure that they do want um um democrats in because i don't think they're gonna um basically be the best for the economy i i and that that is um that is a bit more um crystal ball stuff i don't know but i would say that they probably would rather have a markets guy put it that way not 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 people that are just going to increase taxes on corporations increase financial transaction taxes and just just basically do everything that they um can do to basically uh well not that is their aim to collapse the economy but that is basically what they will do um so they're gonna like so it's a case of the federal reserve is is reactive they react to what is going on um but it is a case of this thing this thing we have here is highly um unstable so yes we could expect it to maybe have to look really bad before they come in and do something but obviously if things look really bad they literally could lose control of this and especially with election uncertainty coming in as well they could really struggle to get a grips on this so um my inclination my inclination is that they're going to do something sooner rather than later and try and arrest this 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 dump um sooner they obviously wanted um um congress to pass the the, the second stimulus um because that would obviously give the markets a massive boost and that would be great but that hasn't happened as of yet so maybe they are going to have to step in with something i don't necessarily know what that would be they obviously have an alphabet soup of uh of of basically um lending facilities and bailout facilities and everything but realistically they're going to have to try and do something otherwise the system's done this this is done and yeah like i said they are reactive they could wait for it to come down low and then step in but i think they're looking at it like now like maybe maybe sooner is better um, we are looking bad and speaking of things like that let i just want to show you um basically we have the same thing a similar thing obviously on a, a more company level base base um with um with tesla um tesla again here this looks a lot like what stock markets and nasdaq and everything are looking like now um, we were looking very bearish. We were looking like that was it. The top was in and we were going to come down. And then obviously Elon, um, Captain Stock Splitter, um, came in and he did his um, he did his manipulation. Obviously, he is only the CEO of a company. He's limited with what he can do, even though he does try and do a lot of things. He is still limited. But the Federal Reserve and the federal government and the Trump and his um, and, his, and the powers that he have, they're not as limited as Elon in, in manipulating markets. So if Elon can do this when things are looking about to collapse, don't rule out don't rule out what these guys can do also also let me just say it is now friday um it is friday um so you guys have probably heard of month end markup where you basically paint the charts um hedge funds do this a lot <laughs> they basically um because they only really report at the end of the month um so they um they can they try and manipulate positions towards the end so the reporting looks okay even though intra month they're probably not doing as not doing so good uh, but yeah i would probably expect some sort of week uh and week and as in this end of the week a weekend not as in like the weekend saturday and sunday as in this friday as in today um some sort of juicing of these markets to get some good closes i mean they need to they need to be closing this s p today above 3400 and they need to be closing well <laughs> i don't even 
they they need to be closing the Nasdaq higher than it is. I would even say they need to be closing the Nasdaq around um, eleven thousand five hundred. So, but that is a big ask, um, but not impossible. Um, not impossible. So, watch out for something today, because like I said, they need to. They need to. I think they, the Fed always talks about trying to get ahead of the curve, etc., blah, 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 etc. Cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's all rubbish. The Fed just. I mean, yeah um anyway but yeah so then they might actually, might actually want to try and get ahead of this curve even though they're technically behind the curve because they're coming down already but they might want to get ahead of this move before it really starts to pick up steam um so yeah that's what i'm saying expect something expect something if it isn't on friday i mean realistically they want to paint these charts they don't want people stewing over the market like they did last weekend i did say last weekend people are going to look at um these markets after, over the last weekend's long weekend coming on tuesday and sell and that's clearly what happened they know that happened last weekend. We knew it was going to happen last weekend. They know it's going to happen next weekend. Sorry, this weekend on Monday if we have bad closers. So they need they, they need to juice them now, guys. They don't really want to wait till Monday to do it. They need to they need to do something. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are factors that we have to concern. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't be as concerned about stuff like that. But just with an election, like it's like two months away, isn't it? Ish, two months. So, um we're getting to the point where we can't have sustained moves down in the stock market. Um, <clears throat> not we can't, we can't, they can't. I mean, there's some people in power that have more of the power at the moment. They don't want that. It, it's not. It's not what they 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 need. The exact opposite. So, um, yeah. So that is what we're gonna have to uh, be cognizant of. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, back to that. Back to that DXY. Back to that DXY. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean. Yeah, I, I, I think we are. I, I think just because of what I've just told you, what I tried to explain, um, this this isn't going to be allowed to break up because that is that will be a disaster, um, an unmitigated disaster for everything, um, everything worldwide. Um, so yeah, back over to Bitcoin. We'll have a look at some of those dead classics. They've obviously got to be looking better. Um, obviously, well, four hour obviously got pretty high up, so it is having a bit of a retrace, but it's not got into the fully um, bullish zone. So this could easily turn back up at some point, um, relatively soon if price action stays doing what it's doing. Ten hour is moving up nicely still, and twelve hour is now uh, well moving up nicely still, um, making some progress. Daily has got to be turned up by now. Yes, yeah, turned up. Not started to make move to the upside, but um. I mean, if we get up to 10,000, that for 10,500 area, 10,500, 10,600, this is definitely going to be coming up nicely. And um, a retrace back to that 10,400 will likely be picked up on just the momentum basis. Um, two day getting deep, obviously got a chance to move up. Three day coming towards that trend line. Um, and weekly is obviously the worrying one. Is the worrying one? It is worrying. But like I said, um, I think there's going to be some sort of intervention in markets. Um, because there needs to be, um, there needs to be, <laughs> not because I don't think, not because I necessarily think there needs to be, although there does need to be for my fundamental view, but that's like a chicken and egg scenario. My fundamental view is because there is these needs to be, not that I have a fundamental, have a fundamental view and then I need these things to then make sure I'm correct on the fundamental view. The reasons I'm telling you that I think these things will happen are the reasons I have my fundamental view. So that is, that is, that is that. Um, but anyway, yes, a bit of a long video this morning, but we are getting to crunch time in these markets. We are getting to crunch time. This dollar's got to come back down. This, um, this I mean, the S&P, we'll look at the S&P more so. The S&P's got to get back above this level, start making progress to the upside. I mean, NASDAQ, NASDAQ is super frothy, so even if it just trades sideways in this range and doesn't trade lower, I think that is good enough. I think that is good enough for um, basically the um people in charge um so yeah that is it really guys so um so yeah interest interesting times interesting times so um yeah remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor remember if you want to get um free access to that indicator here it is um just come to the website trainingwithdan.com um and yeah and i'll speak to you guys later on today